Hi there, this is Jason Renshaw and I'm going to show you how to uh, upload a SCORM package into your Moodle course. Uh, now, you know, SCORM is a format um, and you can use it with various e-learning authoring tools. Uh, I'm actually using it here with um, Articulate Storyline, which is just fantastic. Really, really enjoying this tool. Uh, and what I've done is um, Look, when, when you're learning how to do something for the first time, you know, keep things simple, keep things small, test things out. Uh, so I've made a relatively short um, presentation and quiz here using Articulate Storyline. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to now publish this in a format that results in a SCORM package. And then I'll be able to go over to my course here and I'll be able to embed it here as a quiz. And I'm also going to show you how you can embed it in a way that lets the gradebook in Moodle read the results of that quiz um, that you produce. So I've made my quiz. Now what I want to do in Articulate, uh, Articulate Storyline is publish this. Now look, you could be using any of a variety of tools. You could be using iSpring or Captivate or, um, you know, Wimba. Um, and look, the, the menus will be in different places, but the same sort of basic process is, is called on in, in order to make a SCORM package. Um, so I'm going to publish this, and it's going to bring up some options for me. Now, in Storyline, I have a, a couple of different options for publishing. I can make it into a web-based presentation. I can put it on Articulate Online. I can put it on my learning management system, which is what Moodle is. Um, you know, if it was Blackboard or any, any of the other LMSs, the same thing would apply. I can uh, publish it for a CD or I can publish it actually even for Word. Um, but what I'm looking at here is the LMS. Um, and that's what you should be looking at with any of the other tools you may be using, is how to publish your presentation quiz um, for a, a learning management system. So you need to look for that option in the publishing uh, menus. Um, now, the good thing about Storyline is that it uh, allows me to publish in HTML5. So I've, I've checked those options for iPad and HTML5. It just means that this will be able to play on um, a bigger range of mobile devices. And I definitely want that option, that if uh, my learners are looking at this on, on a tablet, uh, a mobile tablet, then you know they'll be able to watch it using the HTML5 output. They'll be able to interact with it. So then you've got to look at your output options down the bottom here. Um, I've just gone with SCORM 1.2. You may like to try the different formats to see how well they work in Moodle. So you may want to change, you may, may want to make three different versions just to see which one works for you. I've already tested this in SCORM 1.2, which is the default one, uh, seems to work the best. Um, now reporting and tracking, you need to click on that option there. Um, um, what I've got here is reporting and tracking. Now the reporting, I don't need to really worry about anything there. There are a couple of options there. I could I could change the way the quiz uh, is resulted, but I'm just going to say it's either passed or it's not completed. Um, and in terms of tracking, um, I want to track using quiz result. Now you could also track just by the fact that they've uh, Got, gotten through all the slides. If you've got an interactive style format where you need to click on the right options in order to go to the right slide, um, that might be a better option because you're actually um, you're just testing whether they, whether they can get through uh, the tasks. But in this case, I've, I've actually got a quiz with scores, so I want to track using the quiz result. So that's all good. I press OK, and now I can publish. So I click on the Publish button there. And it's uh, having a think. It's just uh, getting my presentation published. Now the next step's pretty important. Um, you need to be able to, once it's published, now you notice here it says, great, you've published it. Now what do you want to do now? You want to zip this file. Whenever you're doing something in SCORM format, you want to do it as a zip file. Uh, I know that's what you need to do in Moodle anyway. So you need to um, click on it as a zip file and turn it into an actual zip file. Um, 
and it should come up with that nice brown box format there. So that's been zipped. Um, and this is just good for keeping your files manageable in terms of size, really. Um, but it, it'll make make it talk to Moodle a lot lot easier as well. So now I'm going to go to my course and I'm actually going to put this quiz into Moodle. So I'm going to turn my editing on. And I'm going to just put it in topic one here. Um, now you need to add your SCORM package as an activity. So you add an activity, you look at the options there and you go to SCORM package. So I'm going to uh, in, upload this activity as a SCORM package and it's going to give me the option to choose a file. Uh, first I've got to put in a few details. I'll just say that this is the sustainability introduction. I'm just testing at the moment so this stuff you know I probably would change and do a little bit differently. Uh, introductory quiz about sustainability. Now I need to choose a file and this is where I'll choose my SCORM file. So I'm going to uh, go to upload a file, choose a file, click on sustainability. Now you need to choose that format which is the zip format. And you can actually just see by mouse putting your mouse over it, you can see that it's an actual zip file. But that, that box there shows me it's a zip file as well. So I open that and I upload it. And it might take a little bit of time just to upload that file. And you can see it's there. Right, so we've got the package uploaded. Now it's important that you just do a few things with the settings down here. Um, where it's got grading method, um, you've got a couple of different options in Moodle. If you choose learning objects, and this is important because when I went to Moodle Docs to check this out, there was an actual recommendation that you choose learning, learning objects, and I did that, and I found that my SCORM package was only being marked at a 0 or 1. So I actually changed it to highest grade, because I'm allowing unlimited attempts on the quiz, and you might give them three attempts, for example, um, or unlimited attempts, um, and it'll record the highest grade that they managed to get on that quiz. Now if you click on show advanced here you've got a couple of different options as well in terms of you know where it's displayed if you want it to pop up in a new window um, or if you want to show the menus to the side do you want them to be able to preview it uh, that sort of thing and you just play around with those things and just see how they turn up in your Moodle course. Most of the stuff I find that I don't really need to worry about but you know, it's just a matter of experimenting and, and seeing what happens as a result of choosing those options. Now I'm going to um, put this as something that they need to actually view it in order to complete it and they need to get a grade. And that's all I really need to do um, in that menu. I save and return to course. and you can see it's there. Now I can always go back in and edit any of those settings by updating there um, but what I'm going to do is turn the editing off and do something very important. I'm going to test it. So I'm going to go in as a... Uh, I'm going to switch my role to a student so that I can go in as a student would and I'm going to click on this quiz and it says right here's your introductory quiz about sustainability. You click on the enter button and you can see that it pops up here in the screen. Now I can get rid of this menu here to the left and get the whole thing up there like that. So I'm just going to test out my quiz. I've got a link to a video here that the quiz is based on and that should pop up in a browser. And that's just a little video that um, the students are going to watch and there's some quiz questions based on this video. Um, So they're, they're going to have to answer some questions here based on the information there. I won't play that all for you. Um, so in this case, it's a matching question that I've created. They've just got to match the right stuff there. Very simple here in my trial version. Submit that, and it says, yep, you got that right. And it's given a score. We've got, a, we've got my lovely assistant here helping me with the course. I, I mainly teach uh, boys at the moment, so they'll be quite happy to see her there. <laughs> um, 
and and it's you know it's got my score and it's got the passing score to show what I needed to do to pass and that's that's the end of it that's done so um, you know the quiz does work but let's see how it looks in the gradebook you know you saw that we we did integrate it with the gradebook we put a couple of gradebook settings there so I'm just going to go back to my normal role as a teacher so I can check out the gradebook and I'm actually going to just going to go into the grades and this is just part of the, the natural process of checking how well your tools work. Go in as a student, try it out for yourself. And you can see here in the grade book, I, I got 100. And the grade book's, you know, basically the SCORM package has sent that score through to the grade book. Um, I do have the option also of clicking on that heading there. And it will give me a little bit more information. It will give me uh, the date I started and the, the time I started and finished. It'll, if I did multiple attempts, it will show each attempt here and the score I got each time. So you do have that option of getting um, a little bit more information about how they interacted with that quiz. But the important thing is that you know we can actually see the result of that quiz in the gradebook. So just to quickly run you through that again uh, with your actual uh, tool, um, it's important to publish and to choose the SCORM format in LMS mode. Um, you know, depending on the tool you're using, it's important to choose that HTML5 option if you have it in your authoring tool. Uh, and when you actually, you're also going to make sure that you're recording, you're reporting it and tracking it. Make sure you check those to make sure that you're, you're tracking either a quiz result or the fact that they actually just got through it. Um, and then when you actually publish, make sure you choose to zip it, Z put it into a zip file format. So that's all you've got to do um, at that end of it. And then in your actual um, Moodle course, it's just a matter of um, adding an activity and choosing the SCORM package and then making sure that you just play around with the settings so it does what it, what you want it to do. So you're going to have to upload your zip file there, your, your SCORM zip file. Um, you're going to have to choose on a grading method. Um, I, I would recommend highest grade and leave the maximum grade as 100. Um, and play around with any of those settings there to see how it will appear in the actual screen. And that's uh, that's basically how you upload a SCORM package that was produced in Articulate, Articulate Storyline uh, into your Moodle course and into your Moodle course in a way that integrates with the gradebook and makes things nice and smooth and nice and reliable.